why they call them sneaker waves. But uh, let's check in with Joseph now uh, on this fabulous weather that we have out there. And uh, boy, everywhere you look, you see blue skies out there. Yeah, now turning over to a beautiful sunset. So it was a clear day today. A lot of folks outside enjoying it because, you know, we had some cloudy conditions going back through last week. It was pretty mild. We didn't have a ton of rain, but we definitely had some clouds. Beautiful colors and tones out there. I really hope that you get to see this sunset for tonight. We have McMinnville out towards Seaside, and then there's Mount Hood Meadows. Great time to be up on the mountain as well, even when it's sunny up there. It's just a blast, and we've had plenty of snowfall through the course of everything going on, so it's a good time to be up there on the mountain if you have the opportunity to do that. As I mentioned, and Wayne was discussing earlier, I mean, it's been a little cloudy. Here's our recent sky cover. You notice it's been about 90% to 100, so that means it's been cloudy and fairly overcast for some locations, especially over towards the northeast near the airport, kind of scattered through the valley. So we've had some moments. I know the weekends have been dry. A few weekends have been sunny, especially if you can kind of kick out of that inversion. We'll see that thicken up as we go through the next day and into next week, likely bringing back some morning fog. All right, forecast lows for tonight down to the 30s. Clear night, cold night. It will feel a little bit more like winter during the night, but not so much during the day. During the day, it's totally been feeling uh, a little bit warmer and almost like spring. All right, here's that ridge that's developed over the, you know, right over the top of us. It's kind of kicking everything around us, and we are not going to be dealing with any sort of disturbance as we go into Sunday and through, again, most of the week because it's going to get stuck here, kind of perched over the, uh, the area, and it's going to leave us uh, away from anything too harmful. But the one thing that does deteriorate when we have these type of setups and these weather patterns is the air quality starts to have some issues because we get air stagnation. We can't get the wind to kind of stir things up, especially down into the valley, kind of gets a little soupy. So current air quality is okay. We're in the green. There's a couple locations up maybe in yellow off towards the east, but eventually we're going to have this air stagnation advisory go into place. That begins tomorrow and continues through Wednesday. Again, just kind of poor air quality. If you're sensitive to that, you may notice that. Uh, with some pollutants as we go through the course of the week. Also, freezing fog advisory. That's today until Sunday for this section 84 there over towards Hermiston, Pendleton, and Boardman. So those are going to be some locations there that you may be dealing with some freezing fog. Come early tomorrow morning. If you're doing any sort of travel, uh, just be wary of that. All right, tomorrow, not a bad day. Back to the sunshine. Cold to start the morning, as I mentioned, but the afternoon should turn out to be nice and sunny. We're not dealing with any sort of rain, maybe some high thin clouds early tomorrow morning, kind of passing through as we go through the day. We get to Monday. It's nice and sunny on Monday as well. Again, maybe a few clouds off the coastline there and maybe a few over the mountains, but we're not going to be dealing with any sort of disturbance because of that high pressure that's in place. We continue through Tuesday, heading into Wednesday. Yeah, Practically a clear sky, maybe some fog forming up until we finally start to see some signs of rain heading into Friday. This is this one particular weather model, so we'll see if we end up getting that. For now, I'm actually going to leave this kind of dry as we go towards the end of the week. I have increased the cloud coverage and brought in a chance for some rain, but we'll have to see if uh, those weather models uh, you know, bring in the rain consistently. I'm just not buying it just yet. Uh, air stagnation advisors I mentioned to Wednesday, but sure looks like a nice forecast when you look at that sunshine and 50s. Oh, we've been waiting for that. That looks fantastic. Well, next, 